Let's graph this rational function using the 10-step process. The first three steps are to find removable continuity. So the first step is to factor and cancel if possible. Notice that I can rewrite the denominator as factoring out an x. I'll have x minus 4. When I do that, it becomes a really easy problem because these just cancel out and I get 1 over x. And so step 2 is to set the canceled thing out x minus 4. This is my removal discontinuity right here. Set that what I've canceled out, set that equal to 0 and solve, which means x equals 4. So x equals 4, and what's f of 4? My new f of 4. I just need to plug it into there. Actually, let's call this mm -hmm. um, Well, let's not, let's not even write f of 4 because technically f of x is right here. And this is my new f of x. So when I plug that into there, I get 1 fourth. So my point is 4 comma 1 fourth. That's my hole or my removal discontinuity. So let's keep that in mind. The next step is to plot the y-intercept. Remember the y-intercept, I find that by plugging 0 in for x. So my y-intercept is going to be 0, comma 1 over 0, but I can't do that. So I say none. I have no y-intercepts. My x-intercept, I set the top equal to 0, but can I do that? Can I set this top equal to 0? Is there any way for the top to be equal to 0? No. No, so there's no x-intercept either. The next step is to find my vertical asymptotes. My vertical asymptote is when I set the denominator equal to 0, which is just x. So x equals 0 is my vertical asymptote. My horizontal asymptote has to do with the degrees of the top and the bottom, and you'll notice that the degree of the top is 1. The degree of the bottom is 2. So if the degree of the top is less than the degree of the bottom, y equals 0 is my horizontal asymptote. And now, I need to plot a couple points because I don't have very much information. So let's go ahead and graph this. Let's see if I can fit it into this space right here. There's my x-axis, there's my y-axis, which also happen to be my asymptotes. So let me draw in my dotted lines here. Dot, 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 dot. Those are my vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Let's plug in a couple values up here. What's... Um, if I plug in negative 1, let's just find a couple points. I'm going to make a t-chart up here to save some space. If x equals 1, mm -hmm. y equals 1 over 1, which is 1. If x equals 2, y equals 1 half. If x equals 0, I can't do that. If x equals negative 1, it's negative 1. If x equals negative 2, y is negative 1 half. And you start to see what's going to happen. To the right, it's going to approach infinity as it gets closer to zero, and it's going to approach zero toward as x goes to positive infinity. And to the left of the y-axis, the graph is going to do that. Because the further over here you get, let's see, you get negative 100, it's going to be negative 1 over 100. Whoops, I did that wrong. That's not right. That part was right. But over here, it, it is negative over here so it's going to be underneath like that so sorry there's your graph like I was saying because when I plug in negative 100 this is going to be negative 1 over 100 which is really close to 0 it's right there really close to 0 and that's how you can check to make sure and if I plug in a number let's say 1 over 10 what's 1 over 10 when I plug that in here, what's 1 over 1 over 10? 10, which is going to be way up here. So there's 1 over 10 comma 10 right there. There's my point up there, and it's positive. So you can see that you've done that correctly.